So today I want to show you something really quick. Um, it's how you add symbolic lines and details within 3D elements. So a perfect example is you can see I have this deck here and these are two by eights. Um, if I go into a different section of this project, what you'll see is that my framing, if I activate this view, these are actually 3D elements that have the cross, that, that sort of X drawing in the middle of them automatically when they're cut through. And so that's what I want to show you today is how, how do you do that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to this elevation view. I'm going to take one of these. This is a two by eight pressure treated lumber. I'm going to go to edit family. You can see there it is a 3D family. I'm going to go to my floor plan view. And the key here is that you need to draw a section. So I'm just going to draw a section. You can see it's looking from right to left. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set this as my reference plane. Even though we're only drawing symbolic lines, you still need to draw on a reference plane in the family editor. So I'm going to go to create. I'm going to say set. I'm going to pick my plane. I'm going to pick the middle. And then it's going to ask me where do I want to go to work. I'm going to say that section view. And of course, the scale is all wonky. So I'm just going to jump, drop it down to something crazy. So now in here, what I can do is I can go over to annotate symbolic lines and then depending on the pro the type of file that you're in you're going to have different options based on the category but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use let's use um, structural framing projection um, if you want you can even make a line type for this but for the sake of argument we're just going to use structural framing projection so now here I'm just going to draw my X oops I drew two there let me go back to create annotate symbolic I'm going to draw my X here. Now the key is you need to make sure that this X is parametric. And so um, what you want to do is you want to flex it. So I'm just going to go to my family types and I'm going to change this to a two by six and click apply. And just make sure that it's flexing with it. If it's not, what you need to do is you need to go around and you need to align and tab and sort of lock the end of these lines. Um, by, the, by the nature of drawing it, it should be okay. The only thing I didn't check was um, if I change the width, which, you know, odds are it's a two by, we're not going to, so it looks like it's fine. So it's, it's flexing good. Um, so let me just uh, make sure I didn't modify that too much. Perfect. So now we have these symbolic lines in here. So if I load this back into my project, I'm going to say overwrite. And now you'll see if I type TL, all of my framing is automatically has that little X in it. Um, the negative piece of this, or the sort of downfall of this, is it only works when you're cutting directly on it. So if, if you see here, I have all my X's for these framing. Um, if I go up here, it looks okay. But if I go into my other section, deactivate view, you can see these are actually roof rafters that are on an angle. And because I'm cutting them uh, straight, uh, and but they're on an angle, you don't see them. And just to give you a quick idea of what that looks like, if I go to 3D framing, so you can see here, um, if I'm cutting these rafters through a section, I'm not cutting directly um, straight on with that, that section cut in the family, and so you don't see them. So you, it doesn't work for everything, but it's just something quick that, that could help you. Um, you don't have to use it for, for roof rafters either. There's a lot of different things you can use it for. Um, like, for example, drawing in some, some crazy 2D detail within your family that you want to see in section cut or some symbolic lines that represent some things. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, just a quick one today, but I thought this was something that a lot of people don't know about that I think would be um, super helpful. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, check me out over at therevitkid.com and I'll talk to everyone later.